Good afternoon, FlushTube. Um, this is just a quick video to show you guys the differences between Mill Hill beads and Delica beads. Um, I'm basically I'm making this video because I have two sets of beads for Chatelaine Water Garden Mandala. Um, originally, I bought the Mill Hill conversion that Martina, um, the designer of Chatelaine, recommended. Um, but I've just received the bead pack from European Cross Stitch with the Delica beads. And I thought this was a great opportunity to show off the differences between Mill Hill and Delica beads and also show how different the beads look, even though they are the recommended conversion. And hopefully, it will help you guys decide if you ever get a Chatelaine whether to go for the Mill Hill beads or go for the Delica beads. Um, which are the chartered beads. Um, so the delicate beads are usually the ones that Martina uses. Um, I think because of the shape of them, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, but she usually provides a Mill Hill bead conversion. Um, in the UK, delicate beads are really hard to get hold of. Um, there are some places that sell them, but Mill Hill is the one that is much simpler to get hold of, which is why I originally I went for the Mill Hill beads. Um, the, but the bead packs from European Cross Stitch are quite good value and um, she provides enough beads to finish the design with a few spare. Um, I've heard that it literally is a few spare, so um, if you lose a couple you might not have enough. But We'll see, because what they do, they do them, let me show you, they do them in, like, weight, rather than number of beads, so it's kind of an estimate. Um, I think, like, a gram of beads is normally, like, however many, and then they sort of just do it from there. Um, so I'm going to switch the camera, I'm going to use my other camera so I can, like, take it close ups and I'm going to show you first off the difference between how they look and then I'm going to show you each of the each of the pairs Mirho Delica and show you how different they are for the conversion so I will do that um, as you can see these are this one is a Mirho bead and this one is a delica bead. The mill hill bead is bigger to start with. And now I cannot turn it on its side. Mm -hmm. This is really hard to do, they're so tiny. Okay. As you can see, this one is rounder and this one is slightly more square and also smaller and thinner. So in a Chatelaine they're often quite densely beaded. So obviously the Delica beads are going to fit better on the fabric than the Mill Hill beads. Because the Mill Hill beads are slightly bigger it's not going to make too much of a difference but when you've got a bunch of beads in the same area it might be, they might look slightly more squashed together, if that makes sense. So, Delica, slightly smaller, more square. Mill Hill, slightly bigger, more round. So, that's, that's the first thing. Okay, so first I want to compare the bugle beads. These are the recommended Delica bugle beads. And these are the recommended Mill Hill beads. Well, as you can see, the Mill Hill beads are significantly longer than the Delica beads. So obviously, these ones are going to be a little bit difficult um, to fit where these are meant to go. Um, these are 5mm bugle beads. Um, Mill Hill 70020 and these are 3mm bugle beads 
Delica 44 to 48. So that's really. I'm not quite sure. I assume Mail Hill doesn't do a smaller bugle bead, which is why these are the recommended ones. But it just seems it just seems bizarre. So so there's that. This is the first conversion. So these ones are Delica three two four, and these are Mail Hill zero two zero nine four, which are the recommended conversion. As you can see, these ones are kind of a goldy, bluey green, and these ones are just dark green. So, I don't think they look very similar at all, if I'm perfectly honest. So these, these ones are obviously slightly iridescent, these ones are dark green. And See, 324, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Three five two and Mill Hill zero three zero sixteen. Um, as you can see, they're not that different, but the Delica beads are definitely a shade or two lighter, and obviously they are smaller. Um, but this one, this one is a conversion that makes sense. I can see this one. Um, the next one. Let's see if I can do this without turning the camera off and turn it back on again. So Delica 354, Mill Hill 3, okay that works. So Delica 354 is a pinky peachy colour, uh, 03017 is a darker shade of ivory. So they're, they're not very similar at all. Well, they're similar, but the Delica beads are obviously more pink. Um, so this this is this method of filming is working quite well. So I'm going to continue. Three five five and six two. What I'm going to do? I'm going to turn the camera off. Put these in their respective bead caddies, and then I can film them all at once. This is the next one. This is Delica 355 and Mill Hill 62033. Um, as you can see, the Delica is again significantly pinker than the Mill Hill. The Mill Hill is kind of peach colour and the Delica is definitely pink. So, I'm sure that the three colours I've just shown you will look fine together if you use the Mill Hill. But they will definitely look different than the Delicas on the actual Chatelaine. Okay, so the next one is three seven three. And which is here. Delica three seven three Mill Hill zero two five three. So, there's not a huge amount of difference. The Delica are slightly more metallic and blue, but also green. They're like a metallic blue-green, whereas the Mill Hills are sort of green and greeny-blue, sort of mixed in together. So I can, again, I can see this conversion. Red, I, can, I can see where, I can see where this conversion is coming from. But it's still quite different. Um, the next one, Delica 415 and 02007. Um, yeah, this, this one is really different. So this one, these are metallic 
green, like a metallic light green blue. These are blue. They, 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 they're blue. They do, they do not look the same. Um, which kind of goes to show how different the Mill Hill and Delica catalogues are. Because I'm assuming if Mill Hill had a bead to look like that, it would have been converted to that. Uh, the next one is 501. This. So. Again, I can see where this one's coming from. This one, these are gold, like different shades of gold. And these are kind of a brass colour. Um, so they're not the same. And I feel like the Delica beads, because they are a variety of different shades, are going to add more interest to the piece than these would. But I, I can see the conversion here. Weirdly, I feel like Mill Hill must have an actual gold bead. But maybe because... This, these beads have like some purpler or orangier ones in there. This was seen as a good like in the middle kind of thing. So there's that. Um, the next one is these are delicate 85, um, which is a conversion for 510, and that's they're put with 00168. I don't know what Delica 510 looked like, but I can't really see how 85 and 00168 are similar. However, these definitely have a blue tinge to them, and these are blue, so I kind of get that. But these are iridescent, metallic, blue, black. These are, these are blue. So, I'm just, the point of this video is to just point out how different your piece will be whether, when you convert them into Mill Hill or when you use the Delicas. Because they will, it will make a difference. It will. I mean, it's not going to be a huge noticeable difference, but it will, it will be a difference. And we've got three more colours left. So, we've got... Delica 622, Mill Hill 0205. The Delica beads are slightly darker, but overall, this is a pretty close conversion. Um, and then 670 and 03041. These ones are slightly. The Delica beads, we're having a the camera's having an issue with all this white. The delicate beads are slightly more pearly, if that makes sense, than the Mill Hill, but they are pretty close. And the last one is this one. So 877-62049. The delicate beads are lighter and more matte. And these ones are more glassy. But again I can see I can see the conversion there. And then the last bit on here is it says any black bead. Now my Mill Hill my um bead kit from European Cross Stitch didn't come with any black beads. So what I have is when I bought the Mill Hill beads, I bought these 00081. And I will probably still use them. Hopefully they will fit. If not, I will do some research and get some smaller beads. So. Although maybe saying that, maybe the petite Mill Hill beads would be a similar size to these. But it, it doesn't say on here that 
you should use the mill hook, the petite beads. Also, I think the petite beads have different numbers, so ignore me. <laughs> the petite beads are different numbers. Yeah. So, um... So, yeah. So, I've lost my train of thought. So, this is... I just wanted to show you the conversions. And so, that that's it. Also, you have much better view of these beads than you did in my haul video. So, maybe I should do use my camera to make haul videos in the future. So, I hope you found this video somewhat useful. Um, I know when I first started using beads, I didn't really know the difference between Delica and Mill Hill. Um, it's only since I ordered some Delica beads and compared them that I knew. So I thought it'd be useful. So instead of having to go out and buy your own, you can you can just see which you'd prefer. Um, I f I know that the the Mill Hill and Delica conversions for the Chatelaine are quite different, but I don't think there'll be there'd be anything wrong with using the Mill Hill conversion if if you wanted to. Um, I think. It could be a little bit of a squash, but chatelaines are generally stitched on the on a similar size fabric to mirabilias, and mirabilias don't generally have a problem with bead squishing. So I would think the chatelaine wouldn't. I just think there's slightly more potential to squish because some of the areas are so heavily beaded. Um, however, size difference isn't that great so I'm sure I'm sure it'd be fine whatever you decided to use and knowing Martina's eye for colour even though some of the conversions are completely different I think that it would still look beautiful if you used the Mill Hill rather than Delica beads I personally am going to use the Delica beads because I've bought them for that purpose and I will put the Mill Hill beads into my stash but I love Mill Hill beads and I love Delica beads and I think whatever you use you're going to have a beautiful project at the end so hopefully this video will just help you make an informed choice as to which beads you want to collect for your chatelaines or other projects in future Um most other projects use Mill Hill beads anyway Um so I don't know if you could get a Delica conversion for that um, I know I don't have that much knowledge compared to a lot of flush tubers out there, but I just wanted to make this video to contribute something, and it was something I could do. And as I've got both sets for the water garden chatelaine, I thought it would be a good opportunity to compare them. So, yeah, I hope you found this video useful. Um, I'm gonna go and do some studying now, and. I will see you all in my monthly update. Um, I have just changed my YouTube name. I'm keeping Emily Chadwick on the end so that people can still find me if they search for that name. But I think after a few months I'm going to phase that out. My new floss tube name is going to be Sarukists, which will match my Instagram channel. Channel? Instagram username. Um, so that it's less confusing and the only reason I'm Emily Chadwick is because when I created my floss tube, YouTube wouldn't let me change it. So, so there's that. Um, but floss tube and YouTube have come a long way in a year and a half. So now I can change it. So I just wanted to mention that in the end there. So yeah, I'll see you all in my monthly update. Happy stitching. Have a good month. Oh, and thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Um, I just wanted to say that because I didn't think I did. And if I did, I don't remember doing it. So I'm going to say it again. Thank you. Happy stitching. Bye.